guys, my name is Furby and this is my first guide for Star Wars The Republic. I should hopefully be helping you with your Sith Sorcerer healing and giving you a few hints and tips along the way. The first thing we need to talk about of course is the uh, your core abilities and how you use them. Um, the main one, your bread and butter button, will be uh, Resurgence. Um, everything revolves around Resurgence more or less. Um, my favourite combination is Resurgence and Dark Heal. Um, Dark Heal may not be the strongest heal, it may not do the most healing, but um, with the, with the Resurgence and the buff you get from it in the talent trees, make it very force efficient. Now as you should see from the gameplay, um, I hammer Resurgence all day long. It is definitely my favourite button. Um, but of course you do still need Dark Infusion, your bigger heal. Um, for moments when your tank or another member of the party is very close to dying. Um, but yet again, um, Resurgence is great when they're especially low, but don't always use Resurgence and Dark Infusion together, because um, the way your re force regenerates, um, having that extra second on top of the Dark Infusion, if you don't absolutely need to heal him quickly, that extra second is 8 extra force um, at standard without any buffs. Um, so that's great. If you can wait that extra second, it is worth doing because it is more actual force efficient for you. Um, static barrier, again, great for those moments when your, uh, your tank or whatever is about to die. But um, be more careful using it at lower levels because before you get the talents for it, it, it is quite force draining. Now if we were to look at this in more detail, um, when you use Dark Heal with Resurgence, um, it only costs you 55 force because uh, Dark Heal is usually 50 but uh, it's cut in half due to the force bending buff from Resurgence. So with 55 force um, you're getting two heals off and if we look at the uh, times it takes to cast them and the uh, the global cooldowns in between them, um, you have four and a half seconds. Um, during those four and a half seconds, you regenerate about 34 force. So in total, you're actually only spending 21 force, 34, uh, 55 minus 34. Um, 21 force to get two decent heals off and keep your uh, heals rolling on the person you need them. Uh, one thing I would say about Dark Infusion in those uh, teeth clenching moments is I, w I would also use it in conjunction with uh, Recklessness, which will give it a 60% extra chance to crit, I believe. So that's, that's really going to make it more efficient due to the fact you should get a crit and then you get a bigger heal for the extra uh, force cost. Okay guys, I also wanted to show you the uh, talent trees. Um, this is how I'm building my character at the moment and um, in my opinion the best place to start is with the ones which are highlighted in green all in the healing tree. Um, once you've filled all these in and you've worked your way up, uh, I, I prefer to go in split into the other trees a bit um, which I've marked with orange so these are like your second place to go. Um, that's increasing the maximum amount of force you have, reducing force costs and increasing willpower. Um, once these are maxed out um, I'm going to move up back into the healing tree and the ones I've marked with of red um, I'll be filling those in and um, continuing to fill my tree up until I run out of points. Um, of course this is completely up to you if you want to change the way you do it um, that's fine there's nothing wrong with that um, this is me personally and my opinion so I uh, hope it helps. Okay guys and the, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, stats. Um, now of course bonus healing is your main stat. Um, this is increased as you can see by willpower, power and force power. Um, you need as much of this as possible, that's quite self explanatory. But um, sometimes you get these extra stats, as you can see with mine I have crit here, uh, willpower, um, uh, power rather, uh, alacrity, more power, force power, etc. Um, I like to personally uh, stack crit as much as possible. Um, this is just a preference. I'm not sure if it's actually the best, but um, 
I like big crits. I like seeing the big numbers. So uh, when you're in a group, um, this usually goes up to about 27 uh, ish with the extra 5% from operatives uh, if you have one in your group. Um, of course, uh, other buffs from other party members will buff it as well, as well as your bonus healing. Um, so yeah, crit's my personal stat. Um, some of you might like to stack uh, activation speed for uh, faster healing if you have really good uh, force regeneration. Um, surge, it, of course, is really good as well because when you do get those crits, um, they will be even bigger. Um, and yeah, maybe some of you would just want to go straight up power, so all of your heals over time um, equal bigger numbers. I don't know. Um, I think it's it's pretty even. Um, I think it's more of a playstyle preference. I hope so, because that would actually make the game um, much more enjoyable for everyone if you know you're not stuck in one corner. But um, yeah, that's just me. I hope that helps. Okay guys, and to finish off, I just wanted to uh, give a few tips, and um, first of all, uh, force bending is a little bit bugged at the moment, if you're quick enough you can get two procs out of it, uh, which is great, that's always very helpful, um, probably going to get fixed at some point, but use it while you can. Also, um, just because you're a healer does not mean you cannot do interrupts. Um, does not mean you cannot use your stun and electrocute and doesn't mean you can't use whirlwind to CC um, using these not only um, well it's going to make healing easier for you because you are s suspending damage if you're stunning someone or you're interrupting a big hit um, it's making life easier for you and for your tank he doesn't have to worry um, whirlwind CC makes it much easier for the entire group etc um, so feel, don't don't feel just because you're healing you just have to heal um, you know mix up a bit uh, do whatever you can to help your group and yeah thank you for watching my guide I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helped and um, please leave me some criticism constructive please